Good evening, and thank you for joining us. I'm Erin Davison. And I'm Tom Zalaski. It is a story you will see only here on Local 5. Parents whose kids attend one local middle school are upset because they say this school is mishandling the redistribution of food. Parents are concerned this practice could make their kids sick. Local 5's Rhonda Fox talked with one parent and brings us the story. The first week of January, my son came home extremely concerned and told me, Mom, at lunch today, my friend and I were sitting there and we watched the lunch lady pick unopened food out of the garbage and put it into a bin. Parents whose kids attend Maplewood Middle are also concerned about the redistribution of unwanted food. The no thank you bin, I think, is an amazingly admirable thing for kids that do not want certain food items. They can put it in a no thank you bin, and then other kids can receive them for free if they are still hungry. For parents, the issue is twofold. One, food workers here at Maplewood allegedly picking food out of the trash, and two, the handling of dairy products placed in the no thank you bin. We're taking a uh, unopened packages or I'm not even sure of how well sealed they are but there's yogurt, string cheese, apples and putting it into a bin and what they're doing from there I'm not sure. And then you also run into food practices with temperature holding. You know a yogurt and string cheese is supposed to be held at temperature. How many times has that food been taken in and out of proper temperature and reserved? And what is the purpose? Local 5 talked with the superintendent of the Menasha Joint School District, and he provided a response. At Maplewood Middle School, we have no thank you bins that allow students to deposit an item that is unopened or a fruit without an edible rind if they do not want it or choose not to eat it. Students are encouraged to use these bins in order to reduce food waste in our cafeteria. A couple well-intentioned adults who supervise our lunchroom saw that some of these items were being discarded and chose to take them out of the garbage and place them in the bins. This was not the intention of the bins, and once this practice was brought to our attention, it was discontinued immediately. No items that are placed in the bins are in violation of temperature regulations, as the general rule is four hours, and none of these items are in the bins for longer than the lunch periods at school. After the lunch period, all items in the bin are discarded per guidelines. We apologize for any confusion this may have caused and assure you that we have full confidence in our food service partners and will continue to work to provide safe, quality meals for our students in the Menasha Joint School District. Reporting in Menasha, Rhonda Fox, Local 5 News. Thanks, Rhonda. Local 5 also reached out to Chartwells, the dining service that manages the Menasha Joint School District, but they have not yet responded.